All right, so your scenario is a uh, active shooter incident at church. The training is about active shooter response, responding to an active shooter incident or a mass violent incident. Like that. Now, typically, you know, in the past, EMS has always staged blocks away until police cleared that area, but we found that too many people weren't getting the medical care that they needed and that we needed to get EMS into that warm zone to provide that medical care so we could save more lives. So the basic concept is, you know, your police officers first arriving on scene, they will respond in and they will engage after that subject. The, the next arriving police officers and the paramedics, they're going to form rescue task force. So the medics will go in with police protection and provide that medical care in the warm zone to help save lives. Walmart parking lot, two gangs shooting it out. Main suspect is apprehended, but it's always an unknown. All right, guys, collection casualty point, collection casualties point is behind the oncoming B, okay, up on the berm. The good thing that we're seeing is, you know, the medical care and, you know, them interacting and doing the right treatments and getting those patients out. The one thing we need to improve on is the communication between law enforcement and, police and uh, EMS. Oh, it's, uh, it's awesome. It gives us uh, insight into what happens when we got to work with these guys, the police, uh, police side of things. We also, it uh, gives us uh, insight in simplifying our, our care of uh, wounded patients in a, in a, uh, mass casualty, mass shooting incident. 